everyone, I'm Lucky Cast. This is Cheap Game Review. Every week we look at a new release on Steam, costing $5 or less. Today we're looking at Thrive. It came out November 26th. An evolution simulation game. Take control of your species in the environment and edit your species as a whole. Compete with other evolving species for resources on an alien planet. So it looks kind of, it reminded me of um, Spore, the beginning of Spore, where you're making a cell and you go around just gobbling up other cells. Uh, hopefully a more advanced version of that. Let's uh, jump in and take a look. All right, on a distant alien planet, Aeons of volcanic activity and meteor impacts have led to the development of a new phenomenon in the universe, life. Simple microbes reside in the deep regions of the ocean. You are the last universal common ancestor on this planet. To survive in this hostile world, you'll need to collect any compounds you can find and evolve each generation to compete against the other species of microbes. Let's begin thriving. Pangonian vents. Like glucose white clouds by moving over them, you're selling these glucose in order to produce... Uh, da, 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 energy to stay alive, follow the line from yourselves to nearby glucose. Alright, we are assuming glucose. I got glucose, so I guess I'm looking for ammonia? Which, there's, okay, there's ammonia in here. In order to reproduce, you need to duplicate all your organelles by collecting enough ammonia and phosphates. Look at the indicator at the bottom right to see how much more you need. Uh, I think we're getting there, whoops. Oh, I hate, I I just want WASD to be, like, consistent. I don't want this moving around nonsense. Okay, we did something. Collect enough resources for you to divide. You're now ready to edit your species. To enter the editor, press the flashing editor button in the bottom right. Alright, um... Bottom, oh, that. That's a button, got it. Okay, we're a little bigger now, and we slapped a horn on there. Um, I eat you? I think I eat that. Alright, we're gonna just go around eating, uh, little bits of stuff. That's a big cloud of something. Let's, let's get some of that. Alright, slap the tail on there, too. Uh, which... Apparently is using a lot of energy, so we need to figure out how to produce more energy. This isn't working out so well. Maybe I can't get back into the editor editor yet. I guess we're just gonna poke around for a little bit. Okay, I added an organ, which does not appear to have helped my situation. Okay, so I started over because the cell I made was just real bad. Um, so I left off the horns and the uh, flippers for right now and just have some organs and, well, I can move around without um, constantly running out of energy. So it's a step in the right direction. I guess horns take up too much energy, I don't know. All right, we added one more organ. For producing glucose and ammonia now. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, we'll see. See how this works out. And I need uh, ammonia. Get right here. And then I need phosphate. Added some more organs that produce different uh, resources for producing ammonia, glucose, and. Uh, I don't remember. But I guess we already can evolve again, so... Oh, we're using... Oh, we're not producing energy. We need to... Some... We did something wrong. Um... See, I don't think this is actually doing anything, because we don't have sunlight yet. There's no photosynthesis. It is turning... Glucose into energy, but it's... there's no photosynthesis, so I don't know if it's actually... So we apparently did a bad job, and we're gonna die now. Whoops. All right, we started over, ooh, Jesus. Started over again, because I'm really bad at this game. Um, I added, oh, we're getting stuck, go away. I added a nucleus, which just made us real big and real slow. I wasn't having these energy issues uh, until just now. Now I can't move. 
Need phosphate. Let's get phosphate. Let's see if we can evolve our way out of this. Need ammonia too, which is right up there, so I don't have to go very far to get what I need. So let's see. So creating the nucleus opened up all sorts of stuff to us. We got way bigger, added some mitochondria, and I don't have energy issues anymore. Not dying yet, which is a good sign. Um, and my glucose is not going down, so that's good. We might be getting somewhere here. Okay, so got rid of one of my mitochondria because I was burning through too much glucose and added another tail, flagellum, whatever. Um, I think that fixed our problem. So we need to start moving. Oh no. Oh. Oh, we're toast. Let's get in the editor, since we got just enough, and... Uh, we need to move towards the surface, that's for sure. We need to get to sunlight. That should make things easier, so I think I just need to start working my way up. Alright, so that's it for Thrive for right now, so a lot of things about this game. First up, so it is the successor to Spore, which if you don't know Spore, you're lucky. Spore was the biggest disappointment in PC gaming history. Um, it's a game that promised the world and delivered nothing. It was the idea being you start from a single cell organism and you evolve all the way to a spacefaring empire where there's like your little cell, then your tiny little animal that are more advanced animal, and there's like a tribe period, and then a spacefaring. It, the game was a disaster. It was bad. Um, so this game actually wants to be that well so it wants to be what spore promised it could be not what spore was um so this is early access right now all they have is this the cellular stage uh they according to the developers have plans to go all the way to a spacefaring empire do i believe that's ever going to happen no they're at least honest on their uh steam page in the description for how long they think it's going to be in early access they said 150 months which is about 13 years. Um, so, I mean, that's probably realistic. Do I think this game will ever turn into that? Um, I would rank that right up there with Star Citizen ever actually becoming a full game. Maybe at some point in development, the developers of this game can link up with Cloud Imperium games and they can, you know, start from a single cell and then evolve all the way into you're playing uh, Star Citizen. I believe it's probably just as likely that that happens, that this ever turns into a game where you can go from single cell to spacefaring empire. I just, I don't see it happening. That said, what they do have here is kind of cool. It's a little bare, there's not a ton of features here, but there is a lot. I don't know nearly enough about any of this to say if any of the science is based in reality at all or, or any kind of realistic. Um, there's a lot here. I wasn't really getting a lot of it. I kept making cells that just died. <laughs> they just could not survive, died, and I started over. Um, I, the thing I ended up with is just a mess. <laughs> like, there's nothing... It, it It's not well thought out or well designed. I'm sure people that understand this game better can probably make some pretty cool things uh, that function a lot better than this mess did. It, this thing just kind of... This thing just kind of fell all over the place and just barely scraped up enough resources to get by. Maybe someone that understands this stuff a little bit more would have an easier time with it and uh, just be able to make something better. I wasn't getting it, but I think that's more of a me problem, not a game problem. I don't really think what the game has to offer right now is worth $5. That said, it's early access, so you're not really paying for what they have right now. You're just paying to be able to play as they create the game that they're trying to create. Whether it's going to turn into what they say it's going to turn into, who knows? That's the problem with early access. There's no guarantee. It could it could never get another update for the next 13 years. Who knows? That said, the game they have here right now is interesting. It just doesn't really go anywhere. It doesn't have an end game of any sort. The idea of a new spore is cool. I would like to see someone make that game and make it right, or at least closer to right than what we got. However long ago that was. 
So because I couldn't remember, I just went and looked. September 4th, 2008. That's when Spore originally came out. That is forever ago, and I feel ancient now. Um, and and because I'm a pack rat, I just looked on the shelves behind me, and sure enough, there it is. There's my copy of Spore. Back, you know, when you actually bought physical copies of PC games instead of just buying them all on Steam. So, yeah, now I feel old. So, yeah, would love for someone to do Spore right. I will let the developers keep my $5, just in the hopes that they actually create the game that they want to create. That'd be super cool. I'm not going to hold my breath, but if it happens, it happens. So, overall, I'll give Thrive a tentative thumbs up. Um, just know what you're getting. You're getting into an early access, so whether it turns into anything more than it is right now, who's to say? If the developers abandoned it and it never gets updated past what it's at right now, it's definitely not worth $5. Um, however, there's a cool idea here, and if they do actually turn it into even a quarter of what they want, definitely worth $5. It seems to be a cool little game. So that's it for Cheap Game Review this week. We look at a new release on Steam, costing $5 or less every week. If that sounds interesting to you, please hit those like and subscribe buttons. Jump down in the comments, let me know what other cheap games you've been playing lately that maybe I should check out. That's it for now. I am Lucky of Chaos, and I'll catch you next time. Later!